Bullet Club for, 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 for life. Alright, what is up guys, Action Figure Addict 112 here, and uh, as you can tell, Super Saiyan Timmy is here, and uh, that is because uh, he is the bodyguard for Seth Rollins, as you can tell, he's rocking that ripped, uh, burn it down t-shirt, so he's a huge Seth Rollins fan. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna ask Super Saiyan Timmy uh, to let me do this review, and then you can get back to Guardian. King Slayer Seth Rollins. Give me one second. Okay, so he politely backed off so that I could do this review. So, oh man, Mattel, you killed it in a good way and you also killed this figure in a bad way. At least this copy of this figure for me. So, um, there's some things I'm slightly disappointed with um, that easily could have been fixed. Some things I did fix, and then, uh, I guess some things I couldn't fix. So, anyway, I'll get the, uh, I'll talk about his accessories first, and then we'll get into the figure itself. Okay, so his first accessory is this Raw Tag Team Championship. Uh, I used to have the other half of this, but as you know, I turned it into the Psychosis Championship, so... Yeah, um, it's really nice though, and it's a good way to get your other half of your tag titles. So that's pretty much it for this accessory. Okay, and then his other two accessories are these alt hands here. Uh, so you get a pair of fisted hands, and you get a pair of open hands to hold like a microphone, a pen, something. So you get a pair uh, for each hand. So that's cool. Um, and that's pretty much his accessories. I mean, he didn't come with a t-shirt or the universal title yet, but I'm sure eventually down the line we're going to get one, so that's pretty much his accessories. Let's get into the actual figure. Okay, so I'm going to point the, uh, the issues out first. Um, this TrueFX stuff that they do is a blessing and a curse at the same time because sometimes you'll get a, a face that's really clean and it's perfect and then sometimes you'll get one that's really fucked up and that was the case with mine. Mine was really fucked up um, because of the fact that there were some areas where it was just flesh colored like where the printing did not hit the face in the right spots so there were you know, there were areas that you could tell that were in, you know, that, that they missed. There were missed areas in the beard, missed areas by the mouth, there was missed areas under the beard, there was a little dot on his nose, I got rid of that easy. And then they fucked up the, um, this area right here. Um, so when you, when they put the figure together, it's usually they put glue on the top of here and then they glue the hair piece to the head well they clearly didn't either it was not properly um, molded or someone just fell asleep at the wheel but this area was right here it was like off you could tell it was off because I saw it in the package but this was the only one that had the clean face so I was like um either do that and just fix it when I get home or don't get the only Seth Rollins figure I want. Um, so yeah, besides that, TrueFX looks really good, the all hands are great, I love the attire, the flames are awesome, the knee pad. The only issue I have is that this hand, this joint up here, the shoulder joint, is extremely tight. Like, I'm afraid to move this joint. I tried to move the joint up to try to loosen the joint and I can't even move the joint up. I'm afraid if I put too much force on it, it's gonna like snap the arm. So I'm not even gonna do that. I'm gonna heat it up and then try to work that joint out after this 
but um, yeah, Mattel, you need to you need to work on that shit. I have the same issue with Mystique, but when I get to her review, I'll talk about that. But um, yeah, let me just spin him around real quick so you can see the other side of the tight. So you can see the uh, the tight design on the back right here. And he carries all the way around and it goes up there too. But yeah, he is really awesome. And uh, yeah, so let me bring Super C and Timmy back in here so that we can do the score with his bodyguard. Okay, now that we got his bodyguard Super Saiyan Timmy in here, uh, we can finally get down to the verdict. So even though there were those issues, there were no really, there wasn't any issues with the tights. Uh, the figure looks like it should somewhat. He came with some pretty good accessories, although I would have preferred him with the IC title. Even though he didn't win it at this time, the other one came with an IC title and, and a tag title and alt hands, and it was the same price. So, I mean, I would have preferred him with that IC, that IC title. Even though he didn't win it until WrestleMania, um, I just feel like it would have made more sense. But yeah, I gave him the Universal title. Fingers crossed he kicks Brock's ass because if he doesn't, um, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna be really pissed. So without further ado, the score will be drumroll 11 and a half curb stomps out of 10. So yeah, I really like this attire. This was my favorite attire. Okay, from the so Rumble here last year. I forgot to say and that really it hope does get this a Skull Asylum seal of approval. So, so well. I apologize for that. So, yeah, I'm gonna let you proceed, um, Timmy. Yeah, it does. I recommend you guys uh, go out, get pick this guy up again, and um, yeah, sorry, Skull Asylum Wrestling. That. And uh, thank you for watching.